Music Magazine recently described you as the self-proclaimed biggest DJ in the world. What would you like to say about that? Um, well, it wasn't actually quite right, and I'm really upsetting actually. Um, Music Magazine, I just wish they printed the, the whole article the way it was. I mean, the journalist, who's now the editor, um, said to me, well, you know, you've been voted the biggest DJ in the world by the readers. Um, do you think you're the biggest DJ? And I said, well, at the end of the day, if people have voted me as the biggest DJ, well, then they feel that I am. I think it's wrong for me to sit here or, 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 and say I am the biggest DJ. It's just done on what the people vote and the clubbers. And that's the most important thing to me is the clubbers. It's not really about me. I mean, it's journalism, isn't it? You know, they just want to stitch you up all the time. And I suppose that's the way it is now. We won't stitch you up, honest. <laughs> no, I know. Russell won't let you. <laughs> you were recently voted number 13 in Music Magazine's poll of the most influential people in the UK's dance scene. Do you think that these polls serve a purpose at all? I, I, I don't honestly know what that means, to be honest. Number 13, the, mo the most powerful people in the business, what is that based on? <clears throat> I, you know, it doesn't mean nothing to me. Um, as I say, it's not really about that. It's, it, for me, it's always about the clubbers, uh, about the people that are in the scene, and uh, all of us really working together because we're all part of something. So that's, I'm more interested in that. And also Chelsea Football Club. <laughs> <laughs> Get on to the football side. Are you a frustrated footballer yourself? Uh, probably, yeah, <laughs> to be honest. I mean, I kick a ball around. I'm not very good. You know, I mean, Chelsea, they mean a lot to me. And, you know, we haven't won the championship yet, but we will. <laughs> out of all the new kids that are on the block at the moment, there's quite a few new DJs out there. Is there anyone that you think will have the longevity that you have? Sure. I mean, I think it's good that there's a lot of new and young DJs out there. and. Uh, you know, we need to we need to help them and, and encourage them and, and you know and from my point of view that's what we did on the Perfecto University tour. I mean John Graham as a DJ, he's an artist called Quiver. Um, Parts and Wilson as art artists they're called Tilt and they've been championing an underground sound for many years now and they deserve to do well. And you know, any help I can give for those kind of DJs I will. I am always out there looking. I mean as I say earlier, Nancy Noyes who's uh, a, a young lady who who's, um, hasn't been doing as much DJing as, as she'd want to because she's actually went off and had a couple of kids, but she's brilliant. I mean, she really is. Uh, she understands music, you know, arrangement, structure, key. A lot of things that generally people don't understand are part of DJing, and she's good. I hope she do well.